The reason money is so peculiarly dangerous is that it gives us several illusions. It gives us the illusion of self-sufficiency. I mean, I'm 70 now. I'm thinking in terms of, mm, do I have enough money put to put away to be self-sufficient? Instead of thinking, God will take care of us. So it gives the illusion that if you have enough of it, you'll be self-sufficient. Second, it gives the illusion of security. I can protect myself from all the dangers in the world. I can have enough insurance. And it gives the illusion of um, satisfaction that will last. <laughs> you can't get nothing that money can buy gives satisfaction that can last. So self-sufficiency, security, satisfaction that lasts, those are the reasons money is so insidiously deceitful. It gives us the impression we can get all that by using money. But in fact, if we just turn it around and get all of that from God, we get our security from God and our satisfaction from God and our self-sufficiency or God's sufficiency from God, then money can become a means in our hand of meeting the needs of other people. And that's where satisfaction comes from because it's always more blessed to give than to receive.